Welcome back. <laughs> so I want to start getting into the actual plot of this web of crazy. Um, before I get into it, I want to kind of talk about my job because I've read blogs, some really weird ones, like they like really go into detail about things like this cam whore or what, what was the one thing that they said uh this cam hooker it, it's a story about a cam hooker and it's just like well i'm not a hooker because i'm not having sex for money anyway doesn't matter there's a lot that entails in my job it's not just popping on a camera and hoping for the best so I do want to say that we don't go out looking for people. Like, we're not, like, spamming adult sites. We're not out lurking and looking for these men or a man or somebody we can kind of, like, catch in our web. We're not these mean, massive monsters. Um, and I might say, you know, before you start, like, judging us, Take a look at this stuff a little bit, you know, get to know some of the girls because every girl is different. The way my website is set up, it is very similar to an AOL site. You have your chat room, you can turn your camera on, they type, you type back or you can actually speak. You can turn your camera off whenever you're ready. The thing that I liked about this job was when I started almost seven years ago, actually, my goal in life was to be a stay-at-home mother. Nothing I wanted more. I wanted children to raise them and mold them into good people. Mike, on the other hand, he grew up rather differently. He grew up the opposite. Both parents worked, dropped your kids off at daycare. That's life. But when I crunched the numbers down, there was no way to be able to afford daycare and make it worth working full time like there's just it's just not right in this situation every job I was finding was part time or full time with like minimum pay it just wasn't going to cover anything so I stumbled upon this through a photographer um, he wanted me to buy this corset and I couldn't afford the corset I had just went through divorce now this was in 2011 hi buddy this is shadow so um this was about 2011 ish um, that I got my divorce. I would say early 2012, you know, I did this photo shoot with this guy and he wanted me to buy this. I was like, look, you want me to buy a corset? That is almost my entire paycheck working part time at McDonald's. I don't have, I cannot do that. And so we were shooting, he was okay with it. We were shooting the pictures and there was a bunch of girls, there was a bunch of photographers. Everybody was having a great time taking pictures, posing, feeling pretty. It was why I did it, because when I see these pictures, they're absolutely beautiful, and I feel really good about myself. Um, at that time, I had just went through divorce, so I really needed that confidence boost. So that's why I did them. Hi, sweet, sweet. So I explained to him why I couldn't afford the corset that he wanted and blah, blah, blah. And he was like, well, do you have a camera? And I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, so do you have a computer? I was like, yeah. And he was like, well, do you have high-speed internet? And I was like, well, it's not the fastest, but it can always be upgraded. And he was like, well, I work through this website, and I could definitely hook you up. You can make a ton of money working from home, being the mom you want to be. Sold. <laughs> Sign me up. It wasn't long after that 
in 2012 um, that I signed up. I became a model March. March I became a model through, let's call him Bruce. <laughs> so I became a model through Bruce. So not only was I working for the website, I was working through Bruce. So I was making less than most models, which at the time I wasn't aware of. I was very computer illiterate. I didn't know my ass to my head when it came to computers. I knew I'd turn the damn thing on and that's it. So, okay, cool. So, a couple days go by. He's kind of like showing me the ends and odds of the website. And I kept asking him, I was like, okay, so how much do I actually make? He goes, you, you make money. You make anywhere from a dollar to five dollars a minute. Okay. Um, at the time, I didn't have a backbone. You guys, I lost all confidence in myself. I didn't know anything about myself, what I wanted, what I wanted to be, where I wanted to be in life. I was, I was like 22. I had two kids. I never had like a full job have my own stuff. So I was 22, two kids, never had my own car. I never did anything on my own. So Bruce was just like, every time I asked him how much I made that day, he was like, you did a really good job. You made lots of money. I was like, well, how much did I make? He was never able to tell me how much I made, which was really fishy. Payday comes along and I'm so excited. I'm thinking I made all this money. And he was like, well, I can mail it to you in the mail. I was like, no, I, I really don't have the patience for that. Can you just, can I just come pick it up? I was like, yeah, you can come pick it up. Not a problem. So I go to his house, which was like almost an hour long drive. And he's got a whole setup. I mean, he's got monitors and he's got printers and fax machines. And I get to talking to him. His wife's a doctor. He makes all this money, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, cool. So he hands me the check. I didn't want to be rude and just look at the check and like, oh, money, 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 and leave. So I talked to him just a little bit more. You know, he shows me some of the editing stuff he does when it comes to pictures and what all the goal was. Like, he wanted me to make content. So we talked about little content ideas. Um, I was like, okay, cool. Bye, great, have a good day. Got in the car, I looked at this check. And it's like $700. Mind you, working part-time at McDonald's, you make $200 like every two paychecks or so. Every two weeks you get $200 or so. Um, so it was more, but he made it seem like I was just going to make this massive amount. And I compared it to all these hours that I spent online he controlled when I did shows, what shows I did. He basically pimped me in the member lounges that they have. Um, that's kind of disappointing. But still, I was still technically working part-time. I was able to be home and I was still be able to do things that, to do the things that I wanted to do. So I'm like, cool. Next pay period rolls around. And I'm talking in my chat room, we're having a good little conversation. And I was always told, don't allow a model in your in your room. Just don't do it. Because they're going to steal your members. It's going to be drama. So I never let them. And this model came in my room and she was just like, we were talking a little bit. And she's like, how do you like it so far? I said, it's okay. She was like, I see that you're, you know pretty decently ranked you must be doing great for your first two weeks I was like we well, made like 700 bucks she goes so you made less than me but you're ranked way lower you want your rank low um and I was like what do you mean she was like I made like $1,500 and I'm ranked way higher than you I was like yeah oh yeah well I worked through this guy and she was like 
So you not only do you work through the website, which gets 50% automatically. I get 50 of what they spend. Um, I got half of that half what I found out later through the conversation. And I'm sitting here in shock. Okay, so we make five cents a token. Um, when you purchase what they call tokens as a member, they automatically take half. So you go in there, the first package is $20. You pay your $20. If you tip me the 200 tokens that you just bought, I make $10. From whatever you want to do, just a tip, if there's content, Snapchat, you bought panties, whatever. So not only was I supposed to get like five cents a token, which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you get five cents a token and then someone comes in and you get half of that you know you're working through another company you're making like one like two cents a token and I'm sitting here and I'm like well he does a lot of stuff and she's like she's like really what kind of stuff does he do does he do and I'm like well he promotes me she goes she kind of broke down that it's just members posting their favorite models so he's not really promoting you he's just posting you you can buy a $20 package and make a premium account and do it yourself not it's frowned upon, but you could technically do it. So besides the member account, what else is he bringing to the table? I was like, well, we're going to make content. She was like, you've been working for him for two weeks and you haven't made any content yet. And I'm like, no. So we'll go forward just throughout the conversation. I re-sign up with the website. Within hours, um, Bruce's. Pissed. I mean, oh my gosh. <laughs> I would bet money that his blood was boiling. And he's like, I'm going to sue you. I was like, but I never sent a contract. You've been talking about signing a contract for two weeks, three weeks. But we never actually signed a contract. So technically, I wasn't under this. Now, I know that there was like a big news article on this at one point in time based on slavery is kind of what it was what I took it as um that the contract that he made these girls sign stated that they had to work this many hours if they didn't work this many hours that they would not be entitled to a job if they did not make a certain amount they would not be entitled to their money um so, you know, they kind of did the math on it, how many shows you would have to complete, how often you would have to masturbate or do a show of some sort. It ended up being like a big article, it ended up being a really big thing. So, needless to say, when he found out that I've re-signed up with the website, things didn't go very well. Um, of course, years go by now, and we're, we're fine now, kind of have decent conversations, but... I learned a lot, not just through computers, because I'm still a computer idiot, but genuine, genuinely how computers work, like what I need to do to make content, how to edit that content, watermarks, I've learned a lot. With that, you know, I've done projects not just for work, for like my daughter, or like slideshows for friends, whatever. I've done them. My job came off on the show, in my opinion, very aggressive. Like we're these whores that are just looking for these men and, you know, we are going to steal your husbands and take all your money and ruin your lives. But in reality, for one, I don't make my guys tip in my chat room. They tip, great. If they don't, they don't. I, I make it up another way. I will make more content. I will have a sale. Something will be done to pick up the slack. People tip for certain things. Like, they're not just tipping, like, here, shut up and take my money. 
They are masturbating. They are buying content, panties, custom videos. They're purchasing videos you already have. They tip just a tip. You know, if a model is in her chat room and she's talking to you and just being a good friend, there's not much of a difference than a waitress being nice to you and giving you food. You got you what you wanted out of your model. Your waitress is doing her job. There's not much of a difference. So, I don't want anybody to think that like we're out here trying to lure these men into this website. We do no promoting at all. We literally, we turn on our camera, and what the day entails, the day entails. Now, like, for example, last week was a really slow week. We had the hurricane uh, make landfall. We have, we're f having football start back up. So, a lot of things like that play into whether you make good money or not. Um, sometimes you'll get lucky. Sometimes you don't. So, that means you have to kind of, like, work with it. It's slow. What the hell do I do with a slow day? I don't know. I have a shit ton of laundry. Let's fold some laundry and some laundry. Why not? And what else am I doing? I'm just sitting here bored playing on my phone. So why not? So we do it and it works. Guys dig it. Guys like seeing what girls do normally. What do you do? I do laundry. I just get a little more sexy and do laundry for you guys. There's not much of a difference. Um, with my line of work, there are different things that you can do. Like, guys can purchase phone numbers. It's up to a model if she wants to sell the phone number, but guys can sell phone numbers. It's pretty simple stuff. I've done it. I've done really well at it. Um, I'll knock on wood on that one. There's never a month I have went without. Now, there's months that I've had to weigh some things out like okay you don't need your subscription box this month or we don't need to drop shadow off at the groomers this month because we have family coming we need a little bit of groceries or that month was just generally slow for me christmas is the slowest month for some models christmas is actually their best month it's really slow for me most of my members have family and have kids and they come first and i completely understand that like I said, there's no pressure in my room. So if you want to come in my room, you want to hang out, cool. You know, it's just a matter of... I call it luck. A lot of people don't call it luck. I mean, you can get on cam one day and make more than you made all month. You can come and cam for a week and a half and not make as much as you would make on a normal day. It's a gamble and it's scary. And I think that's one of the reasons why I went so long without buying a car. It's because I didn't want a car note. And like lapse on the car note and get my car taken away. Um, because my month wasn't good. But I went so long with every month being consistent in a certain way. That I felt like I was like, why why not? You know, all these years you've been wanting this car or a car, brand new car for yourself. You work your butt off. You're an excellent mother. Anything we've ever wanted to do, we've done it. We've taken trips, family, or just me and Mike, or even I've taken trips on myself. You know, when the kids need football gear. But it's not just trips. It's other stuff too. Like if we sign up my son for football, I pay for the gear. I buy the helmet. I buy the pads. I buy the cleats. I buy the practice jersey. I give them money for this and give them money for that. Sign ups, cheerleading, bows, uniforms, shoes. I buy that. That aside... My mom, I'm supposed to, and I want to, by any means, I love buying things for my children. We have an emergency at the house or an emergency vet visit. I pay for that.
We have a month where the military like messes up and we don't get a full paycheck from him. I got it. Let's let's you know. You have to build it together. If he loses the house, we lose the house. If I don't pay my car note. He doesn't have a car either. Well, he does have a car, but you know what I mean. We're one car short. Like for example, right now I had a leak in my air conditioning unit in my attic. Two hundred dollars worth of damages. We weren't prepared for that, but guess what? I got to work weekend, and we can get that fixed as soon as possible. Why? Because I was able to do that, and that's what I like about my job is I can take some days off or I can do full power up and cam for 18 hours and cover as much as I can. You know, so we're not all sharks. There are people out there that scam. There are girls out there that pull the bullshit. I can't pay my electric bill. Please send me money, 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 money. I am not an aggressive camer. Like, I don't cam on average eight hours like some of these other girls. I just don't. Um, I don't cry and beg for tips. If you go into some of these chat rooms, these girls kind of have like a little conniption fit sometimes because they're not making money. Which also I understand because if you're not get tipping, we're not making money. But I've just never been the one to pressure people to tip. If anything, like I said, I hire the stakes. Make sales for videos, bundled videos, things like that. You work for what you want. I mean, it's just like a regular job. If someone was to be like, hey... You know, I need a little bit of extra money. And they're so desperate. I mean, it's not just cam models that scam. There's scammers all around. So I don't, I don't want my job to come off as home wrecker, gold digger. Because I got the gold digger vibe when I watched the show myself. And even members were just like, you... I love you to death, and we know you're not a gold digger. You don't even ask for money. But the show made you seem gold diggerish. And it's kind of sad. And I have to agree. Like, I'm. I just don't like asking for money. And. So, I've kind of given you guys a brief introduction of what we do, and that we're not all evil monsters um the next content I'm going to post on here is how I met John um kind of the brief introduction on how it went this one I'm going to actually make like a storyline to because I've known him for over three years there is a lot as for Miles, as for John, so I am going to have paper and I'm going to be looking down at it and I'm going to read it because I don't want to miss anything and everybody's confused like what? So she meant when? Where? So it'll all be organized. I just have to write it down but I intend to get that done as soon as possible. Maybe in the next couple weeks hopefully. It's going to be some homework. It's three years worth of shit. Holy cow. Okay, so I'm done blabbering, explaining my job. Don't judge me based on my job. I'm not a mean person. Don't judge me based on what you've seen on TV because that's only 42 minutes of my life. And uh, stick around, learn more about my story, learn more about myself. See you guys in kind of get a gift on me and my life and feel free to comment underneath it like so can you talk more about this or can you get into this or touch base with how this happened to the connection of what I saw in the show and things like that so comment down there let me know what you guys want to hear what part of the story is a little bit confusing to you so as I tell my stories I know to touch base with them I hope to see you guys next time. You guys enjoy your day. Bye, everybody.